Now, let me explain about Diagnostic Imaging Tutor. I'm Kosuke Sasai, Vice Chief Director of Non-Profit Organization Medical Shinansha. Diagnostic Imaging Tutor is a service that allows beginners to specialists to acquire clinical experience in diagnostic imaging by teleworking. Therefore, educational and medical institutions concerned about infection by COVID-19 are expecting this service. I will explain how to use this service effectively. This service was developed by the Medical Shinansha, a non-profit organization. Medical Shinansha was established as an avenue for collaboration between the doctors from different university hospitals and with researcher with specialization on knowledge information processing. On the left side are doctors from different university hospitals and on the right side are IT representatives. We aim to contribute to the society by utilizing abundant knowledge and experience regarding diagnostic imaging at university hospitals. Diagnostic Imaging Tutor provides a comprehensive information based on evidence by Diagnostic Imaging Tutorial Database, DCOR. DCOR composed of Diagnostic Imaging Knowledge Base and Imaging Case Database was developed based on the abundant knowledge and the vast experience gained by university hospitals through diagnostic cases that they have encountered. This means that through the decor, medical trainees, doctors, radiologic residents, consultants could capacitate themselves in identifying or describing the specific abnormality findings, location, and possible diagnosis. The software application is consists of the Diagnostic Imaging Simulator, or the CMU Doc, and the Diagnostic Imaging Navigator, or the Doc Navi. The CMU Doc is intended for education and training. It is divided into four difficulty levels A. Introduction, B. Beginner, C. Intermediate, and D. Advanced. The trainees or the users can track their progress through the record log of the set database. On the other hand, the Doc Navi provides the information as diagnostic imaging navigation, imaging cases search, and support for creating medical record, etc. Now, I would like to introduce doctors who supervise for a diagnostic imaging tutor. Dr. Mihara supervised for chest radiography. He is former associate professor of Osaka University Hospital and the supervisor of Japan Radiological Society. Dr. Nakajima supervised for abdominal ultrasonography. He is former specially appointed associate professor of Osaka City University and now the director of Nakajima Clinic and the supervisor of the Japan Society of Ultrasonic in Medicine. Diagnostic Imaging Tutor is an innovative software and service that provides guidance on behalf of instructors and objectively grasp the results with data. Instructors can check each individual's achievement of goals at a certain frequency. At first, instructors can set a learning goal of Diagnostic Imaging Tutor. Residents and students can challenge their goals with CMU Doc. In the meantime, Doc Navi will complete the lack of knowledge 
with diagnostic imaging navigation and or a case commentary, etc. Personal usage history and test results are saved in the database and can be checked by the instructors as needed. In this video, the sequence of learning content can be found below. First, I will explain about the CMU doc as a self-training or self-capacity building scheme, its basic and practical exercise. Then, I will explain about how to use the doc Navi. Finally, I will talk about the effective teaching methods to improve the skill of the instructors. How to use the CMU doc. Diagnostic Imaging Simulator CMU doc is divided into two components, the basic and the practice levels. The basic component encourages trainees to answer each question for the following categories A. Abnormal region B. Abnormal findings and the C. Diagnosis. Each category has 110 questions, so overall, each trainee needs to completely answer a total of 330 questions. Once you have mastered the basic, you will step up to the practice level. The practice level aims at simulation of proficiency into clinical practice. It consists of a total of 330 questions with following difficulty levels A. Introduction B. Beginner C. Intermediate and D. Advanced Let's start with basics When you register as a member and log in on the website of Medical Shinansha. You will see this login page. After entering the ID and password, select CMU Doc Basic Login. Now, let us explore how to use the typical exercises. Click the typical exercises tab on the CMU Doc Basics screen. Select the content to learn from regions of abnormal shadows, abnormal findings, and diagnosis. And click the Select a Difficulty Level button. Here, let's select Regions of Abnormal Shadows. On chest X-ray, 330 questions are arranged in order of difficulty in groups of 10 questions each. The difficulty level can be selected from 1 stir, which is easy, to 5 stirs, the difficult. Scroll down. Let's challenge by using the difficulty levels of four stars. Let's click Start to start learning. I will explain the questions and methods of answer. The case image is displayed first so observe it and select the term indicating region from the choices on the right. You can adjust the slider to enlarge the image.
If it seems too difficult for you to answer the question, and there is a hint button, you can click the hint button to find the correct answer. Then findings, diagnosis are shown, and the hint image can be seen. Select Middle Lung Field as the answer. Select the prefix or suffix as required and click Select button. Here, select the right Middle Lung Field and click Select button. Then, right middle lung field is selected in the answer column. Click check the answer. It's the correct answer. If the answer is correct, a check mark will be displayed besides the term on the right side on the screen. In addition, the case explanation will be explained. Information on the number of correct answer is also displayed. Click the next button to display the next question. When all the questions are finished, click the Check Your Record button. You can check the history of your results. On the Learning Content Selection screen, if you select Abnormal Findings, a picture of the book will appear to the right of the choices. If you click this mark, a typical explanation of the findings will be displayed, so you can answer by referring to it. Let's learn with specific exercises. Click Specific Exercises tab. Then, a list of specific exercises will be displayed. Here, select the Lung Grand Glass Opacity on the tab, Finding to Learn. If you click the Select button, a list of lung grand glass opacity problems will be displayed. Select the questions you want to answer. At this time, you can refer to the results of questions that you have answered in the past. Click the Start button to start learning. The method of answering is the same as for typical exercises. Check the record list by yourself. When you return to the top page and click record list button, whole ranking, the number of the questions challenged and the correct answers will be displayed. In this case, 
The number of the questions challenge is nine hundred and fourteen questions. Silver rank. The number of the correct answer is seven hundred and thirty-seven questions. Gold rank. If you want to finish Simu Duck Basic, click Finish Simu Duck Basic button. Next, let's have another challenge. Practice. Select Simu Duck Practice Login. On chest X-ray, 430 questions are arranged in order of difficulty in groups of 10 questions each. Scroll down. The difficulty level consists of 9 introduction groups, 15 beginner groups, 18 intermediate groups and two advanced groups. If you need a hint, please check the item to display the correct answer. Let's start learning from number one, difficulty level introduction. The case image is displayed first, so observe it and select the answer field from the choices below. Then, enter the answer from the selections on the right side of the image. You can adjust the slider to enlarge the image. If you have multiple images, select and observe the other images. Here, select bilateral whole lung field as the region in posterior anterior view. Click the LBR button to select the prefix left light bilateral of region. Then select basic findings. If there are multiple basic findings, they will be displayed in a tool tip. Enter up to diagnosis. If you can't find a choice in the right column, Scroll down. After entering all, click Check the answer. All questions are perfect. Judgment, model answer, and explanation are displayed. Information on the number of correct answers is also displayed. Click the next button to display the next question. When all the questions are finished, click the check your record button. You can check the history of your results. Check the record by yourself. When you return to the top page and click Record List button, whole ranking and the number of correct answers for each difficulty level will be displayed. If you want to finish Simu Dog practice, click 
Finish Simu Dog Practice button. How to use the dog navy? Diagnostic Imaging Navigator Dog Navy allows you to acquire the knowledge and enhance your skills in detecting abnormalities which are needed in diagnostic imaging. Diagnostic Imaging Navigation Dock Navi guides users to select a very likely or high probability diagnosis step by step from procedure, region, and basic finding. Imaging Cases Search Selected and useful case images have information on patient attribute, definitive diagnosis, medical record, and specialist explanation. A search of imaging cases can be instantly made for basic finding, diagnosis, etc. To compare with your patient's image, this helps you make a smooth and efficient diagnose. More useful functions are available, such as commentary on findings, disease explanation, and support for creating medical records. Select Doc Navi Login. Put the image given in CMU Doc practice on the left. and put the dark navi navigation on the right. Select the position of the part where the abnormality is found in the semi dark image from lung, mediastinum, bone, soft tissue, frula. Here, select lung. Next, Select region where abnormal findings are found in the CMU dog question image. Here, select bilateral whole lung field in posterior anterior view. Then the candidates for basic findings will be highlighted. The color density indicates the probability. If necessary, refer to the explanation of findings before diagnosis. Let's check the explanation of ground glass opacity here. A typical explanation of the findings will be displayed. From the confirmation of the findings explanations, Select ground glass opacity and reticular shadow as the basic findings here. As a result, the possibility of diagnosis is highlighted. Before selecting a diagnosis, click Case Search to see similar cases. Eleven cases in which ground glass opacity and reticular shadow were found in whole lung field were extracted. If necessary, you can check the image with the viewer. You can check case explanation. You can also check the fixed diagnosis of the searched cases. The result shows that there is a high probability of interstitial pneumonia. Then, select interstitial pneumonia as the diagnosis and click disease explanation and output. Then, you can check the disease explanation and medical record.
By using Doc Navi together, you can efficiently acquire various knowledge, such as similar cases, finding explanations, disease explanations, medical records, etc. In addition to the CMU Doc question images. Doc Navi also can be used to interpret patient examination images. Suggestion to the instructors. Diagnostic Imaging Tutor is an innovative software and service that provides guidance on behalf of instructors and objectively grasp the results with data. Instructors can track each individual's achievement of goals at a certain frequency. At first, instructors can set a learning goal of Diagnostic Imaging Tutor. For example, all questions correct of CMUDOC Basic or 80% or more correct on CMUDOC Practice, etc. Residents and students can challenge their goals with CMU Doc. In the meantime, Doc Navi will complete the lack of knowledge with diagnostic imaging navigation and or case commentary, etc. Personal usage history and test results are saved in the database and can be checked by the instructors as needed. As a result, Instructors can modify goals of residents or students and give guidance to each individual. This table shows the history and achievements of each individual's repeated learning in each question group. The answer rate represents repeated learning. Individuals who neglect to learn repeatedly are shown in green and individuals with a low percentage of correct answers are shown in red. The learning history is provided by NPO Medical Financial. In general, online learning is difficult to maintain motivation to learn, but the Diagnostic Imaging Tutor has been evaluated as being able to learn while having fun, just like an online game. In this way, Diagnostic Imaging Tutor can telework the clinical experience of diagnostic imaging from beginners to specialists. Please contact us as we will provide a test account for introduction consideration. Thank you.